Buildings reduced to piles of rubble after a magnitude 6.4 earthquake hit Puerto Rico early Tuesday morning, just one day after another earthquake rocked the island. This is the scene in Guayania. The massive quake destroyed the Immaculate Conception, a landmark Catholic church, a popular site over 180 years old. Well, people are, are saddened. Um, people are jolted. That's the voice of Archbishop Roberto Gonzalez Nieves of the Archdiocese of San Juan. He says a number of churches, including the Cathedral in Ponce, have sustained damage from the quakes and that people are worried about what could happen next. We really don't know what's going to happen here, but people are, are concerned. And um, all schools, public and Catholic schools, are closed until they can be evaluated. The most recent tremor killed at least one person, caused an island-wide power outage, and damaged roads and bridges like this highway in Toyaboa. One of Puerto Rico's most famous landmarks, Punta Ventana, a natural arch at the coast, also collapsed on Monday. On Tuesday, Governor Wanda Vasquez declared a state of emergency. We're talking about a situation Puerto Rico had never been exposed to in 102 years. These are the latest in a string of earthquakes that have shaken Puerto Rico for more than a week. The governor warns there will likely be more in the upcoming days. Archbishop Nieves is asking all to keep Puerto Rico in in their prayers. He also says Caritas and Catholic Charities USA are working on sending down a group of volunteer psychologists to help the people during this terrible struggle. Emily Druby, Currents News. If you're watching Currents News on YouTube, be sure to hit the subscribe button and then click on the bell to get instant updates about all of our newest content because we are putting your faith in the news.